What is up, As here once again. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. With all these events running, there is quite a lot of farming that we have to do, be it in the campaign, be it in the different dungeons, and a lot of you guys might be playing on the PC. One of the best parts of playing on the PC is that you can use an auto clicker. Typically what an auto clicker does is that it just repeats a certain keystroke or a click on a position that you defined before. This is all fine, but most of them just run continuously and press the same key every second. While that is going on, you will be hard pressed to use your computer for anything else. This is fine for doing it overnight, but I'm not just farming overnight. I'm also farming during the day and there's a lot of tedious things where you don't really make any changes. If you just farm faction wars for glyphs, you need to click the same thing over and over again and the run times are not consistent if you farm dragons during the day, or if you level up champions. In order to use my PC while I'm farming, I went ahead and programmed this little auto hotkey auto clicker that I show you in a second. So now we're on my desktop. You might be able to see the faint outline here where it's currently disabled. This is the auto clicker interface GUI element. It just displays you a little bit what the auto clicker currently does. Let's go ahead and quickly set up a regular stage 12.3 auto farm. We do this in both of my clients at the same time, just so you can see that it switches between the different modes. And we start the auto run. So right now I'm pressing F4. And as you can see, the window went from this super transparent to a little bit white and has here now enabled in 20 seconds. So from when I press the button, it starts running through 20 seconds. Once these 20 seconds are over, which should be any minute now, there you could see it brought the Nox client into the foreground and try to press but the run was still going on and afterwards did the same thing on the plarium climb. You will see here maybe it does it for both of them at once and ignore that the champion is at max level. Yeah. So it just switched through the windows and if I had something else in the foreground that I was working on, let's disable this, then it would switch back to my window. So while I'm regenerating energy, I just have it on like a five or sometimes even 10 minute sleep timer. So it constantly runs and go through my energy during the day. For the Nox client, it's a little bit more specific because you have to set up a specific key I might just throw in a short description of how to do this, but I guess most of you use the Bluestacks player. And in the Bluestacks player, there is a little icon that you need to click to enable hotkeys to be triggered. I will overlay a screenshot of that here. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a super easy to use auto clicker. The tool has its own little settings menu and icon, as you can see here. You can just double click it or right click it and it opens the settings menu where you can set up the sleep time. The emulator that you're using and the Plarium client is a very specific thing, so it has to have the exact name of whatever is here. That again. It will save whatever you put in here and you can just run it from there. By default, I have it set up that it has blue stacks, but as you can see, you can change it. If you're just running one window, that's no problem at all. If it doesn't find the specific window, it will not send anything to there. So you don't have to worry of replicating my setup. You can either just run an emulator or just the Plarium client or both. Now I will show you how to actually get it. So I have it put up on my GitHub. So you can just go to this page where there is a little description. Go to release. 
and there you can download either the source code or the exe and what you end up with is this folder and you would see the code like this it might be a little bit complex because it's using more advanced auto hotkey i would say than usual and i have built my own wrapper functions around a lot of things so it might be a little bit different than regular auto hotkey but you should be able to see where the main parts are here and you can just replicate them okay if there's any questions or feature requests or something that you have in mind, just pop down a comment and I will try to get to it. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, peace out.